थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग एडिपीडिया वर्ल्ड वीडियोज विल सी अबाउट द क्रेडिट एंड द कमिटमेंट लिमिट विल सी हाउ दे वर्क विद इन दी एस एपी बिजनेस वन वॉट आर द क्रेडिट एंड द कमिटमेंट लिमिट्स क्रेडिट एंड द कमिटमेंट लिमिट्स डिटरमाइन द क्रेडिट बाउंड्रीज दैट कैन बी एक्सटेंडेड टू अ कस्टमर दे आर यूज एज अ थ्रेश होल्ड टू कंट्रोल कस्टमर अकाउंट्स देयर बैलेंसेज एसेंशियली इट इज अ वे ऑफ एंश्योरिंग दैट द कस्टमर पे फॉर देयर गुड्स बिफोर मोर गुड्स आर सोल्ड टू दैम द क्रेडिट लिमिट डिटरमाइंस द एक्चुअल बैलेंस ऑफ द अकाउंट्स रिसीवेबल फ्रॉम द कस्टमर द क्रेडिट लिमिट इज डिफाइंड फॉर द कस्टमर इन द बिजनेस पार्टनर मास्टर डेटा इन द पेमेंट टर्म्स दैट विल बी लुकिंग इन द कमिंग स्लाइड टू कैलकुलेट अ कस्टमर्स रिमेनिंग क्रेडिट लिमिट द फॉर्मूला दैट इज यूज इज दिस माई क्रेडिट लिमिट वॉट इज द रिमेनिंग क्रेडिट दैट विल बी इक्वल टू द क्रेडिट लिमिट माइनस अकाउंट बैलेंस in the other words credit limit will be your remaining credit plus your account balance what is the commitment limit commitment limit is similar to the credit limit the only difference is that the commitment limit takes the undeposited checks and posted checks that are the the commitment limit is similar to the credit limit the only difference is that the commitment limit takes undeposited checks and post dated check deposits into consideration the customer commitment limit is also defined in business partner master data in the payment terms we can see what is the commitment limit remaining commitment is equal to the commitment limit minus account balance plus undeposited checks plus post dated check deposits let's see through an example let's say that there is a customer and which has a credit limit of uh, $1000 and a commitment limit of $1500 the account balance is $450 assuming that it consists of one ar invoice which is yet to be paid this customer has no undeposited checks or deposited post dated checks at this stage the customer remaining credit and the commitment limits are calculated as follows remaining credit will be $1000 minus $450 that is $550 remaining commitment limit will be or rather remaining commitment will be $1500 minus $450 plus 0 that is your $1050 Let's also assume here that the transaction number that is X Y Z, and which has a transaction total of four fifty dollars, remaining credit limit of five fifty dollars, and remaining credit limit of thousand fifty dollars. Let's see about the settings within the S A P Business One. In the Administration module, you will find the general settings within the System Initialization. there is the business partner tab you can see that i have checked on the credit limit and the commitment limits now these credit and the commitment limits can be applicable to these documents so i have checked on all the documents here i have checked on for ar invoice for delivery for sales order for pick list that means when i am creating any of these documents there will be a message that the system will give me regarding credit and the commitment limit and you can also use this tab to specify the default settings for the business partner defined in the company you can set the activity restriction for your customer and enable some document generation uh, authorizations let's see about the business partner tab uh we find it in the payment terms so here is my business partner i have taken technosys 1 2 3 in this example i am going on payment terms tab i have this payment terms i have mentioned my credit limit as 2000 my commitment limit as 5000 you can see in this tab that you can specify the the credit and the commitment limits
also there you can see that there is a dunning term that is standard a dunning letter is a notification that is sent to a customer stating that the customer is overdue in paying an account receivable now the dunning letters typically follow a progression from polite reminders to more strident demands for payment if the customer continues to be non responsive in payments the first few letters that are sent to the customer should be polite on the theory that the customer has simply overlooked the payment and the company wants to retain its goodwill for the future business we will we'll look about this dunning letter more in the coming sessions for now let us continue with the credit and the commitment limit this is my sales order i am adding a sales order i am taking my uh, business partner as technosis for which we have maintained already the uh, the credit and the commitment limit now this is the first message that the system is giving me when i am selecting this business partner the system is giving me message that the technosis has exceeded credit limit by this much amount and the technosis has exceeded commitment limit by this much amount do i want to continue i say yes this is the second message that the system is giving me now you will see the amount that was shown in the previous message and the amount that is that can be seen here in this message are different that is because that this 26000 100 has been added to the previous amount so this is the second message that the system is giving for credit and commitment limits it is coming because of this sales order that we are adding and we can see that there is an increase in the amount of unpaid credit and commitment limits for this customer we will see in the coming sessions about pick and pack manager and pick list uh, which is an easy way to deliver goods create invoice and do much more in as a business one thank you